Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another The Truth Behind the Glow Up series video. This is a series where we delve into influencers and celebrities glow ups. We look at never before seen pictures, we look at their family members, we find out where they got certain aspects of their looks and their characteristics and we establish that they are simply human beings the same as you and me and we realize that we should not compare ourselves and what we see in the mirror to $20,000 worth of tweakments and surgery. So in this video we are doing the beautiful Gigi Hadid and for a change I thought I would do my makeup in this video while I chat to you guys. So I'm not actually gonna chat you through your products or anything like that, but I will link them in the description box down below in case you wanna know what I'm wearing on my face. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So who the heck is Gigi Hadid? Gigi Hadid is the daughter of Muhammad Hadid, Yolanda Foster Hadid, the sister of Bella Hadid, and the long-term partner of Zayn Malik. Random fact, did you know that Gigi's real name is actually Helena? True story, folks. Now, despite the fact that Gigi's father, Muhammad, is worth an estimated two hundred million dollars and the fact that she grew up in a mansion that was worth 85 million dollars. Gigi has always come across as pretty darn down to earth to me. Now Gigi, just like most influencers and celebrities that I do these videos on, claims that she has never touched her face. She's never had fillers, never had any tweakments, never had any plastic surgery. And for once, I actually believe her. If you compare pictures of Gigi when she was a teenager compared to now, obviously you're gonna see a difference because as you age, your face does change. I mean, that's just kind of common sense. And I know I'm gonna have loads of pushback when I say this, but I just don't think that she has changed all that much, <laughs> especially compared to some celebrities whose glow ups have been so extreme, like her very own sister, Bella. Like if you look at her glow up, that is pretty intense. Like she has changed drastically. In fact, I did a whole video on that, I'll put it up here if you guys want to watch it. And Kylie Jenner, for example, her glow up is also very, very extreme. Like they're both beautiful girls and they were both beautiful to start off with as well, but their glow ups have been very dramatic. Whereas Gigi's, quite frankly, just hasn't. <laughs> now clearly Gigi has just always been beautiful. I mean, her mum had her in modeling when she was literally a toddler. So I feel like the pressure was always there for Gigi to go into modeling, whether she wanted to or not. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, but Gigi's mum, Yolanda, was a character or a star on that show and Gigi herself used to feature on the show quite a lot. There are some disturbing scenes on that show where Yolanda is kind of, how should I put this politely, almost shaming Gigi for eating, for wanting to eat her own graduation cake and for playing too much volleyball because Yolanda thought that Gigi's body was getting too masculine. So I feel like the pressure for Gigi was always very heavy even from a really early age that she was expected to go into modeling. And obviously with modeling, there is a very heavy emphasis on what you look like aesthetically, what your body looks like, what your face looks like, what weight you are, what height you are, how perfect you look. But what I really like and respect about Gigi, especially in the world of influencers and celebrities who do tend to change their looks very dramatically, even if they were stunningly beautiful to begin with, is that Gigi really, to me, does not look as though she's changed her looks all that much. She's always kind of had like a cherubic, round face. Like when she was a little girl, when she was a teenager, she's always had this really full face. And for a while, Bella had the same shaped face, which is to be expected, they are full sisters. Whereas Bella's face now looks nothing like that. Bella's got really, really sharp defined cheekbones and really angular features in general, which she did not start off having. Whereas Gigi, she has not changed her face that much. Her face is still the same beautiful, full, angelic shape that it was when she was younger. And I really respect that because in the world of modeling, that's not very often seen. Now I'm just gonna quickly do my eye makeup, nothing too extreme, maybe just like a brown smoky eye because that's all I wear. I'm using my own palette that I have out with Sigma in case you guys don't know. I have an eyeshadow palette. I know it's my own palette and all and I designed it, but guys, look how absolutely beautiful this palette is. I will link it down below for you guys because it truly is the eyeshadow palette that every human should have in their makeup stash. I use it every single time I wear makeup. I've got my contour, I've got my highlight, I've got all my eyeshadow colors that I use on a weekly, daily basis. So as you guys know, if you watch my Truth Behind the Glow Up series, I really like to delve into celebrities and influencers, families and their genetics and see where they get their facial features and mannerisms and characteristics and looks from. So Gigi's mother, Yolanda, she is actually Dutch and her father, Muhammad, he is from Palestine. Now, when you look at pictures of Yolanda, you can pretty much see where Gigi gets her coloring from. So Gigi is naturally blonde. She's got pale skin, but she tans pretty easily. And it looks as though she gets that from Yolanda's side of the family. However, when you look at Muhammad's side of the family, you can see that Gigi has taken a lot of her own characteristics and looks from the Hadid side of the family. A little known fact is that Gigi actually has a lot of siblings. I know a lot of people 
people think that she just has the one sister, Bella, but she also has a brother, Anwar, but she also has two half-sisters to her father, Alana and Marielle. When you look at pictures of Gigi when she was younger, she had pretty prominent hooded eyes, and there are a lot of rumors circulating on the internet that she had hooded eyelid surgery. That is what Hailey Bieber is claimed to have done. I personally don't think she did. But when it comes to Gigi, I honestly just don't think she's done anything to her eyes. If you look at recent pictures of Gigi, her eyes look exactly the same. They are still hooded eyes. When you look closely at pictures of Gigi, it always looked as though her right eye was slightly more hooded than her left eye and that is still the case to this day and with the money that Gigi herself has and her family has she very well could have changed her eye shape to be something more on trend or in fashion i.e the foxy eye lift and she hasn't I love that like I've got nothing against plastic surgery or tweakments or fillers or anything like that like if it's your face do whatever you want with it but I also really really love to see women in general embracing their looks falling in love with their own natural god-given looks and not feeling the pressure to change them or tweak them in any way in order to fit in with society's standard of beauty. And obviously I know that being a model, Gigi basically already is society's standard of beauty, but she does still have some flaws. If you don't believe me, zoom into her teeth. As you can see by celebrity standards, her teeth aren't perfect. Like look at that little straggler down the bottom. Like I said, with her family's money and connections, she could have easily had that rectified. Like she could have just had the tooth nipped out. She could have had braces. Like she could have had veneers but she hasn't. I feel like she just comes across as a very secure, comfortable, chilled out, down to earth person who wasn't really overly interested in like the fashion or modeling careers to begin with, but kind of ended up there due to her family's connections and the need to make some money for herself. I mean, you can't rely on daddy forever. One interesting thing about Gigi is that her body and her weight fluctuations have always sparked controversy for the industry that she's in. When she first began modeling and actually walking in catwalk shows for like high fashion brands, she was told that she was too big. Honestly, I just don't know if people have eyes these days. <laughs> like look at these pictures here. There is absolutely nothing wrong with Gigi's body in these images. Like she's an absolute stunner. So the industry wasn't happy when Gigi was bigger. And then what happened was that she lost a lot of weight and became super thin. So you think the industry would be happy then, right? No! Because society never seems to be happy with women, no matter what size we are, then Gigi was getting body shamed for being too thin. Gigi hit back saying, yeah, I know I'm skinny, I'm looking in the mirror, I'm trying to eat burgers and do squats, I want an ass too, I get it, I got it, thank you. But the really disappointing thing about Gigi's weight loss is not the weight loss itself, it's the body shaming that came about because of the weight loss, because you never know what someone is going through behind closed doors, and in this instance, Gigi's weight was fluctuating because she was actually suffering with Hashimoto's disease. Now, in case you guys don't know what Hashimoto's disease is, it is an autoimmune condition that affects the thyroid and metabolism. So about that, Gigi said, Nowadays people are quick to say, I used to love Gigi's body and now she just gave in. But I'm not skinny because I gave in to the industry. When I had a more athletic figure, I was proud of my body because I was an amazing volleyball player and horseback rider. Although stress and exercise and travel can also affect the body, I have always eaten the same. My body just handles it differently now that my health is better. I may be too skinny for you, and honestly, this skinny isn't what I want to be, but I feel healthier internally and I'm still learning and growing with my body every day, as everyone is. So to round up this video, I personally don't think Gigi has really done anything to her looks at all. I mean, she may have had a little bit of filler here and there, but I can't see that. Like, I actually don't think she has. Now, obviously, I've got no proof of anything, so you guys are welcome to come to your own conclusions and let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you think Gigi has actually altered her looks, or do you think she has simply had a grow-up rather than a glow up. I will link all the products I'm wearing on my face in the description box down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you like my The Truth Behind the Glow Up series and let me know who you want me to do next. Tell me in the comments. I love your guts guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.